Afternoon, Andoni. Afternoon. Um, obviously, two disappointing results in your last two after a, a brilliant unbeaten start to the campaign. How do you respond? How important is it you respond? And have you seen that positive energy around the training ground this week? Yeah, I agree a little bit. No, we had, I think, uh, good uh, first three games with uh, good results, and now we come from Chelsea, Liverpool. Uh, probably different performances, I would say. I finished uh, very happy with the performance against Chelsea, against Liverpool. I think we didn't have enough for them. I think right now they are in a very good moment, and probably we didn't have enough. Uh, but I think we are doing good, uh, good things, and uh, now looking forward to play Monday night. I think it's a looks like an exciting game for sure, like always in the Premier League, a uh, demanding one. But uh, I think we are training well and we are we are uh, ready for it. Yes. What's the Bournemouth team news ahead of the Southampton game? Uh, right now it's, it's difficult because it's still three days. No, we are Friday. We play Monday night, so uh, I don't know what's going to happen. But right now uh, everyone is available apart from Taylor, that you know. The rest, they have been training and I hope everyone else is, is available for Monday night, but it's true that we still have almost three days. What are you aware of with regards to the rivalry between the two clubs? I know obviously last season Southampton weren't in the Premier League, so you didn't have the opportunity to play them. But for the fans, this is an important game, certainly for Bournemouth fans. What are you aware of when it comes to this rivalry? Uh, I haven't had the, the chance to, not to experience it. I remember uh, when I arrived in the precision, we played a friendly there in St. Mary's. And uh, I'm sure no, it's a game that uh, our supporters want to win, for sure. And the supporters, I suppose, the same. And uh, you, I don't know how to call it, if it's a derby, not that I don't know how you, you say it here, no? But uh, it's always a game that uh, everyone wants to, to win and also uh, Considering no, the opposition, uh, the standings, uh, I think it's a, it's, a, it's a very important game for us, yes. On paper, it looks like a fascinating game because of the two contrasting styles of football. Obviously, Southampton like to have a lot of the ball, play out from the back, high possession, whereas obviously you're more a transition team, catch teams on the break, dynamic, front-footed, and try and win the ball high. How do you see the game playing out based on, on those two contrasting styles? Yes, yeah, sometimes you... You make an idea of the game, and then uh, the game doesn't follow the uh, the things that uh, you thought at the, at the beginning, no? Because it's true that they are comfortable on the ball; they have a, a very good amount of possession normally. But sometimes they have gone more direct. They use very well their uh, their keeper. Ramsdale is very good with the ball on his feet. They can go uh, last games where they've received different press. They've used very well this. This uh, this start this long kick also with him, so they can use different ways to to play, and we have to be ready for for everything. No, but I will focus this week especially more on us, more on us, no, to try to uh, strengthen the things that we we do well and uh, try to to play at the right end that we want to play. Yes. Russell was talking to me yesterday in the press conference about risk and reward with regards to playing out from the back you can potentially have a lot of rewards if you get it right, but also there is an element of risk in it. How do you see the way they play out from the back? Is that potentially something you could exploit or is that something that could open you up because of the way you like to play on the front foot? I think all the teams we try to adapt. It's not like they always try to play from the back and they always risk and no, no, no. And they Sometimes when they see that uh, they are not going to 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 win this risk reward you say they can use no they have other threats and they can go more direct so and we will do the same uh, if if we if we think that we can play from the back and and, and it's going to be better for us we will try if they don't allow us because they are very good uh, pressing is, is the same in every game against Southampton against uh, Liverpool against Chelsea against at the end is how much you want to risk how much uh, you consider is worth it, and every team is uh, with different ideas, but more or less is, is the job we do, the, 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 the managers, no? consider is it worth it or not, yes. And finally for me, it's been a really positive start to the season um, for Bournemouth, particularly when you contrast that to last season, yep. where after six games you had just three points. If you were to beat Southampton, you'd have eight points, so we clearly show the progress you've made already. Do you feel like this match could be quite defining 
based on this first part of the season? I think in the Premier League, especially for the uh, teams that we are not, let's say, the eight, nine teams that we know every, every time now they finish in the eight, nine first positions. For the rest, every game you play against a non-top nine team, let's say, is very important. It's very, very important because you see the schedule and, okay, you can beat Chelsea, you can beat Liverpool, but normally it doesn't happen. And you know, it's, you have to be very good to beat, uh, and we also... Uh, we've been talking about this. We have a very, very difficult start of the of the of the season. If you see our schedule, every game we play against a non, let's say, European team, we have to get points because otherwise we'll be in trouble. Because after uh, after you you have uh, difficult games, and this is the Premier League. The same for us, and the same I'm sure. If you see, I don't know, uh, Wolves. No, have started. No, they don't win. But, You've seen the, the games they've played, the position they've had, you know, they will have the, the chance to play against uh, teams like uh, like them, like us, you know, and then these kind of games are definitive and mm, every time you, you, you play, you, you have to take the most you can, yes. Brilliant. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. How are you feeling about being banned from the touchline? Uh, for me, it's disappointing. Disappointing, but uh, we cannot change it. No, I've been. Uh, they've told me. I've received the explanation that uh, with the yellow cards, uh, we receive the same consideration that the players. Let's say you cannot appeal a, a yellow card. Something that doesn't happen in Spain. In Spain, you can do it, but I didn't know that here. No, and they told me that in the red cards, we don't, we have a different treatment than the players. I didn't know until it happens. You don't really understand the, uh, the the rules here, specific of the Premier League. And even if uh, I think everyone uh, that watches the game is quite clear what happened, I asked for an offside. The fourth official considers that is a I asked for a yellow when there is isn't even a, a foul from Liverpool. Probably they understand the why, uh, but they cannot accept any appeal for for yellow cards. They told me so. Yes, I will be. I will be upstairs. Yes. How frustrating has that been? How did it change your preparations for the week? Uh, I don't think it's super important. You know, at the end, I will not be outside and I will not kick a ball. So uh, we will do our normal preparation. Uh, I'm sure. Uh, past season, I missed uh, the game against Fulham and we won. Uh, maybe it's uh, I don't know. Maybe Tommy and Coops and can do better. But uh, you you never want to to miss, especially a, a game like this, no? Uh, that is important for us. Only two teams have had more shots in the Premier League this season than Bournemouth. So are you very happy at the chances you're creating? Unhappy that you're not converting? Yeah, it's the way we, you want to to look at it. I'm happy because we are having the the shots, we are having the chances, we are creating a lot offensively. But it's true that we are not being efficient enough. We are not being efficient enough. Mm -hmm. uh, normally, my experience in football is when you continue doing these things, you get the reward, but it's not guaranteed. It's not something guaranteed. Uh, there is a part where, where we need to demand more in the in the last third because we are arriving, our volume is, is being very good. So uh, we need we need to, to be more efficient, yes. yes. You mentioned the different styles that Southampton can play. Right now, they're favourites for relegation to go straight back down. How dangerous are they? We've been, I think, favourites for relegation last two seasons, I think, no? I think the season before I came, past season also we were favourites for relegation. It's not for me, it's okay. They have to put someone and they normally go, but... Right now, I think it's very early to take conclusions, I think. They did a very good, obviously. Past uh, season, it's always difficult to get promoted, and they have very good players. And they have, uh, they've been, uh, I think, the first 30, 30 something minutes against United. They played really well, for example. Uh, at the end, it happens like it happened to us against Chelsea. You, know, you miss the penalty, you lose some momentum, and it's difficult. But I'm sure they will, they will, uh, they will be a good team. I don't see weak teams in the Premier League. I don't see, I don't see, and uh, it's, it's always difficult, yes. After that United game, Flynn Downs said Tyler Dibbling is the best 18-year-old he has seen. How, yeah. how good do you, how highly do you rate him? 
Uh, for the games I've seen, uh, he looks very good. He looks very good. Uh, he has made the, the difference in, in some games uh, and he's not easy you know, when you are 18 to play like this. And he's one of the threats that we will have to defend. You know? uh, but the same way, they will be worried also about the threats we have. And uh, when you face a, a Premier League op opponent, you will have always difficult Difficult wingers, difficult number nines to cover, and uh, with Dibblin, I think the things he has done uh, uh, as being as young are, are, are really, really good, yes.